hello everyone today uh, in this video I want to show you uh, how I plant this orchids which I found from trash I've washed them all with dish soap and now I'm going to plant them uh, in the medium and for that I prepared my mulch I boiled it and I put on the table outside I want it to dry it was almost dry it's very easy to work with dry bark and with dry uh, sphagnum moss but what I can do yesterday I boiled it and I put on top of the table they were almost dry and then it started raining and they are moist again but I don't have any choice I have to use this bark and this sphagnum moss which is I took uh, from this orchids this is old moss I am using this I always use uh, the moss which my orchids come uh, with and my orchids they grow you if you have new moss you can use new moss uh, but I don't have I have only this much which I bought uh, for my this uh, flowering orchids I want to replant them also I didn't do yet those ones and that ones I need this moss for them and this moss is a little bit expensive and I cannot afford to buy for all of these orchids I have hundreds of them and that's why I'm using the old moss but it's not necessary to use old moss if you have few orchids you can use new moss for them it's better and my uh, other orchids which I grow since last year they are sitting in old moss but they are very happy you all show, uh, saw that I showed my in my previous videos that my orchids and now let's start in this uh, bucket I have charcoal which I mixed with perlite and vermiculite see I have few charcoal now I don't have much I have to prepare tomorrow maybe I'll uh, fire wood and make charcoal for my rest of orchids which are sitting in here and on top shelf I replanted them all already and this ones need to be replanted also and to be washed and this ones I washed already and they are dry I put fan on and now I'm gonna plant them I prepared two kind of pots which are smaller in size four inch pot and this is six inch pot for my big orchids I need this big ones and I will show you uh, how I'm planting my orchids you see these roots are dry now and this will not fit in this small pot you see it's too big for this pot and I'm gonna plant it in this bigger pot and what I do I take my mulch some here I put and I took some sphagnum moss here and I take some charcoal and vermiculite perlite mix and I mix like this and will show you what I do I open these roots and I place some medium here now I place it in this pot And these uh, yellow roots I am not gonna remove I will wait until they will fall 
themselves. I never remove uh, leaves from my orchids. I let them be in the plant and see the between the roots is felt already and I not I don't need to be to worry about that. You see stem is here the end of the stem and root starts from here and now I have to fill around the roots I will take some bark and I will take some moss I want to add more moss because now I have lots of orchids and probably it would be hard for me to water them um, if you live in dry area I don't live in a dry area in Missouri it's very humid high humidity here in summer and spring times and autumn but in winter the heat is running and that's why it's uh, my plants they get dry very fast in the house but other times in summer they don't get dry fast and now I will add some moss here and I put too much I was talking and I put too much I didn't pay, pay attention okay here you see the gap I don't need this gap and now I will take this uh, uh, my roots again out like this and I put some bark here on the sides see I am making and the middle of the pot I'm not putting anything and now I have to place this roots again back and you will see now uh, here is still empty but the rest of the sides are filled with bark and now this place I can put some bark from here see I am moving this orchid little bit uh, to the side and I am filling it with bark and I will tap it a little bit like this and the bark and what is inside it, they will find the place and they will fill the roots and that gap and I'm gonna add some vermiculite and some perlite and they will fill the gap which is between the roots and the pot like this and every time when I water this will go down and they will fill the gap and see here I'm putting some bark and sometimes I mix this uh, medium sometimes I do layer like this last time when I showed you my homemade with medium I mixed them all together but it depends from you if you want to mix you can mix if you want to use like this layer you can use like this the important it's not mixing or not mixing important thing here the ingredients what we are using charcoal I like to use with my orchids and sphagnum moss also the they uh, will make this root uh, grow faster I don't know my orchids somehow they love this medium and I am filling this 
gap with, uh, between the roots see how I am putting the bark between them and I will put on top sphagnum moss more sphagnum moss because I don't want them to get uh, dry very fast because I have hundreds of them and probably I will not have time to water them often that's why I am adding more moss on top it will keep some moisture because uh, yeah yeah and i am keeping them i am growing them under the growing light and when you grow something under the growing light the medium gets very fast and uh, dry and you have to water often even i see from the other uh, orchids which i planted them two three days ago they are already dry and they want to drink even i planted them exactly in this way see how it is now looking if you can see here i can see roots how they are doing and through this uh, pot it's very easy to uh, see these roots if they want to drink they become silver color if they are still moist they are green you see that's why I wanna I like to put medium uh, first between the roots and then place my uh, orchids in the pot. I will show you another example and then let's uh, plant now I am planting another orchid you see and this orchid you see the it's rotting from the top and I didn't remove this dead leaf uh, it's dry it's not gonna harm these leaves because it's already dry and I had some other orchids which they decayed from the top and in Fro when I was in Florida I treated them I removed that uh, top leaves because they were watery and they started smelling from the top and that kind of leaves I removed and I put some uh, hydrogen peroxide there and they are doing great now and if this orchid cannot grow from the top it will grow cakes from the side that's why if you have this kind of orchids don't throw away wait they will grow cakes from these sides and that's why we have to wait we have to give them chance S see it's very beautiful orchid this color it's white in the center and the sides are pink very beautiful orchid and what if i wait for this e until this one will grow cakes see how i am feeling between the roots first then i put some bark in the pot see here i have different size of barks no, even i can uh, break them in small pieces or i i use just like that and i remove them to the sides and see i'm placing this orchid in this pot and this is a roots and it will stay outside I'm not gonna put it in the pot and here it has a root also I don't know maybe this one I will I can place in the pot if it fits no it doesn't fit that's why it's better if it stays outside and see here I'm gonna fill this gap with this pine bark mulch and I will put some from this lady medium like this I'm showing you what I do 
it's my method and if you like you can use this method if you don't like you can do your way but everybody on youtube they show their method and i am sh sharing my methods with you and i'll tap it a little, a little bit like this see i covered all the gaps now and i can see few roots through the pot even this much is enough to observe the roots and i will fill the top with the sphagnum moss I washed this moss and I drained it. It's moist. I will put on top more moss. And you see the bottom is bark. If you live in a very humid area, you don't need this to do this, but I'm doing because I'm growing it under the growing light. If I have a place uh, on my window sills, I don't need to put this sphagnum moss on top because I uh, didn't put moss on top with my other orchids and they are doing great once in two weeks i water them and they don't get dry fast uh, you don't need to be worried about uh, uh, this medium if it doesn't get dry fast where uh, dry very fast uh, it stays moist for a long time the roots can decay no in this medium roots don't decay that's why i like this medium they don't decay instead they grow good very well and i used to use this medium and i love that medium and all other my new orchids i want to plant in this way and you all see uh, you all saw my orchids which I am growing uh, how they are happy and still uh, this uh, with these orchids uh, which I planted already you saw um, that they are doing great see how they are happy they change already the leaves how they are looking up see shiny leaves and strong leaves because i fed them because they have their own home now they were sitting without the pots now they are sitting in the medium and pots and they're so happy happy gardening see you next time bye please subscribe my channel